Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Tech, tech Tip Tuesday with the Tech Ninja. I am Kat Milner, the Chief Tech Ninja of Create Your Change, and I am really excited today to talk to you about MetaSuite versus Creator Studio. Now, if you haven't used either of these programs, I highly suggest you look into it because they can save you a lot of time and grief, especially if you are a business owner and you have to post regular content on your social media, especially Facebook and Instagram. So Creator Studio is something that I've been using for over two years, and I personally love it. I can create my content, I can put images with it, and I can make it really awesome. And the best part is I can schedule it out like three, four weeks in advance if I want to. And it is wonderful because I can schedule to both Facebook, Instagram, or both. And I thought it was pretty much perfect. I, late 2022, I started getting messages from Facebook saying, hey, switch over to Meta. And I'm like, no, because Creator Studio is awesome and I don't want to. And it, they, but every time I logged in, it was just like switch, switch, switch. And I'm like, no. And then one day I saw it. A notice that said if I wanted to try it I could and then if I want didn't like it I could always go back to creator studio so I'm like all right so now I have nothing to lose so I'll give it a shot I got to tell you I wonder why I fought it so long because meta is awesome it's so much better than creator studio it does everything creator studio does Plus, you don't have to log in and out of the so like I have two business pages and I'm an admin on several others. So if I wanted to post and schedule posts for any of the other um, accounts that I'm on, I'd have to log out, log back in and change profiles. Whereas here, all I have to do is click it and change it. And it's so, so easy. So what I'm going to do is actually show you what it looks like. So this is Creator Studio, or sorry, this is Meta. It won't let me show you Creator Studio because I actually can't figure out how to go back, believe it or not. So they kind of um, lied to me a little bit about that. But as you can see, there's some slightly different metrics um, and assets can be managed together. So I'm actually going to get rid of those to show you a little bit more. And the best part is that you can see all of your scheduled posts, all of your published posts, scheduled drafts, all of that. You can create posts and reels, stories, A-B testing, all these different things. It's fantastic. You can manage your conversations, your notifications, all of that. But we're just going to really look at the content. And you can also, they also have a planner so that you can see what you already have scheduled on any particular day. And you can see I did a live here just a little while ago. And so what you do is you come over here and you go create and it, and I have it defaulted to my personal business account and I can schedule it to my Facebook page and, or my Instagram page. But let's say I want to do it to my business business page. I come over to my image over here and I select my create your change account. And it swaps and you see how it swapped that over. And now I can post to either or both of the Facebook or Instagram accounts here. It's so easy. And you can make it a reel. You can do photos. You can do carousels. You can do all kinds of fun stuff. And it's awesome. So I just wanted to share that with you. And I would love to hear your thoughts. If you've tried Creator Studio, Meta, and especially if you've done both, what you kind of think of both of them compared side by side. So please drop your comments in the chat below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.